Ready for the big reveal. Go on then. What oh do you reckon? God. Beautiful. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Welcome back to another video, everyone. So the new fridge has finally arrived. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Let me turn the camera around. Change the audio setting. So yeah, it's quite nice. It obviously matches the range cooker, the extractor and the dishwasher. So yeah, it's even got a lock, which is pretty cool to stop <laughs> people getting in. But yeah, it's decent. Really happy with that. Obviously it just matches the rest of the units. So yeah, brilliant. So digger is unloaded right behind me. It was a nightmare. Problem is as soon as you touch the ramp, it goes like this. <laughs> it's really scary. Anyway, um, just waiting for the neighbor to confirm that I can go across their property and then we'll get going. We'll go out the gate, we go right and across their driveway, through their field and into the convent's garden. So I'm really looking forward to that and yeah, we can make a start on this rubble mountain. I just gotta wait now. What am I gonna do? That is fabulous. I have got air blowing in my face, which is nine degrees Celsius, and outside it's currently 20. This digger is a 2013 model, and it doesn't have air conditioning, it only has heating. <laughs> but we've solved that today, that little issue. Thank you to EcoFlow. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this little thing a little bit more. It's called the Wave 2 and it is the world's first portable air conditioner and heater. And it is absolutely amazing. It's completely portable. I can just carry it about. Um, I've even got solar on the roof of the digger, which is currently charging it. Let me just look at the app. So we currently got 120 watts input and it's only using 220 output. That's quite amazing. So with that solar panel, it will last quite a while. Um, right, I've got some talking points. Let's talk about this thing a little bit more. Where are the talking points? Yeah. Charge fast in five ways. At home or on the go. 
The Wave 2 has the ability to charge rapidly using various methods such as AC power, solar panels, and uh, power stations, yeah, things like that. Um, brilliant, fantastic. So, the cooling is 5,100 BTU and the heating is 6,100 BTU. Yeah, I believe, yes. Uh, maximum running time, eight hours, depending on what you've got it set to. Um, it weighs 14.5 kilograms, so it's not that heavy. Um, yeah, brilliant. It's fantastic. And the battery that's currently attached to it, you can actually remove the battery, charge it, and also have a spare battery, um, is just over one kilowatt. So imagine if you also had a battery plugged into it, you'd have twice as much runtime so yeah I mean if you're um, living off-grid or you have no power I mean you could call your house you could heat your house obviously it would heat a room not the entire house but yeah I'm pretty pleased with it um, this is a bit of a weird setup but it's the best thing that I could come up with today thank you so much to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video um, if you want to send me one of those robot mowers I could do with one because I keep cutting the grass at the moment yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> don't know what's happening today. Um, the neighbor is back at four, no, 3.45 after work. So she's gonna let me through the property as soon as she gets home. So that's very, very kind of her. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting about now. Might as well just sit here, sit here and enjoy the air conditioning that EcoFlow has provided. Thank you, EcoFlow. Let's put it on max and get a nice blowy. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Best blowy I've ever had. Great news. So I'm currently in the neighbor's garden and the other side of this fence is the convent's garden. So what I've got to do is remove these bolts which hold this bit of fence up. I've got to remove two and then we can go into the garden. So I brought a tool set with me because I had a look earlier. Let me put this down and we can undo some. Thank you. 
So there we go, the digger is in the garden. We can now tackle Rubble Mountain. I'm covered in creosote from the neighbor's fence. It smells lovely, but it's very sticky. So tomorrow we're making a start. I was hoping we could do it today, but obviously I have to wait for the neighbor. Um, start clearing all this, clearing the rubble. Yeah, landscaping and things like that. So, I don't know what else to say, I'm quite excited. Thank you so much for watching this video today everyone. And I'll see you all tomorrow.